Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. How are you today? It is time for another Dollar Tree DIY. This is going to be twofold. I'm making a candy bar with different, um, like if you saw my previous Dollar Tree DIY, I made this beautiful goblet candy dish and I'm going to make another elevated candy dish, but after it's done, I'm going to use it for makeup because I think it's going to be adorable. So what I got were these trays, right? So they're just these trays here. I got two of those and then I picked up these champagne glasses. They're just plastic. And then I picked up these silver plastic napkin rings. And that's it. So one, two, three, four dollars. We're going to make like this little elevated tray. So let's go ahead and just get started. I'm going to open these guys up. There's six of them, but I think I'm only going to need three, maybe even only two. We'll see. You guys, this again is just, we're, we're trying it out because I have an idea in my head. And when I do it, I want to share it with you. So I've got these three here. Let's see. Oh, okay. We've got to build them. They're just like those little plastic wedding ones. So there's one. We've got two. And we've got three. So we built those three. I'll set them off to the side for the time being. Let's open these up. And I need only four of these. I should probably open them. And four of those. And I'm actually going to start with these little rings. And one of these. So take off these little guys. I really like the Dollar Tree doesn't make you, like their stickers come off rather easily if you just kind of take your time. So they don't leave all of that sticky residue goo on there. So I've got my heat gun. You could also use E6000 if you'd rather do that. Um, but I just like to use the heat gun fast, easy, and it seems to work for me. I know some people have had some issues with it not sticking um, properly or giving way, but I haven't had that problem but all right so like I said we're gonna be and we're gonna put some candies in here and uh, or you can use food you can do makeup you can do anything this is just gonna be nice and elevated for you I mean can you imagine this would be a great washi holder too so we're gonna go ahead Flip it over and then get your glue gun and you're going to put some hot glue around the outside perimeter of this. And you want to put enough glue um, but not too much. And you don't want it to go in the middle or anything like that. I mean it's already going to push out a little bit but you don't want it to cool too fast. So there's that and then you're just going to put it right in the middle there. And what we're doing is we're just going to build some little legs. So if I put it in the middle and a little bit of border there and we're going to do that to all four legs and you can just do this part and be done. So that's if that's what you want. But I am going to make it tiered. Ooh. And we'll put that one there. 
again I'm just using these sides as a middle and kind of eyeballing where it should be and that's it I mean look it holds up nicely and flip it around get the other ones there and do the same thing so I love just checking out um, the Dollar Tree, see what kind of stuff they have, what could go together, especially plates, bowls, um, glasses. I mean, you can put those together in such great ways. I just love it. Um, and it's inexpensive. You know, I do the plates and the bowls pretty frequently, and that is because the colors are just awesome, and it can change with the season for $2 for the most part, right? And if you saw my last one, I was pretty happy with that little um, candy dish for a candy party. It could be colorful. And there we go. So now we've got some little legs on here, and that's going to elevate it up just a little bit. And you can see there, but we, um, you could line it with like little doilies in there so that you're not going to be seeing that. Or you're going to have food in there, or you're going to have candy in there, and you won't be able to see that glue or anything through there. So that is good. Now we're going to take these and I'm going to check and see if I want it to be two or three in there. So you could, if you wanted to, I don't think I like it upside down. You could, if you want to, just use it like this and not have anything st um, st stabilizing it. And you can stack it three high if you'd like, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stabilize these. So I'm gonna take, again, right around the perimeter because that's where it sticks. If you really want a lot of glue, you're gonna have to like really fill it in. And sometimes I do that when I'm uh, wanting it to stick for a good amount of time there. So we're just going to put that right in between the two uh, legs there, and then we're going to do the exact same thing here. And I'll definitely, I know, I always hear that, can we do a different angle? Unfortunately, I don't have a second camera to do a different angle and I don't have something to hold that all together. So I'm just lining that up, pushing it down and look, you guys, look how quick, that is why I love it. So we're gonna put this over the top again and I'm going to um, hot glue it, but at this point, if you wanted to, you could fill this up with um, colored liquid if you'd like. You could fill it up with some candies. You could fill it up with a flower in there, some shells, some beads or baubles. I mean, just, you can do so much with it. So let me just grab a quick flower. This is a big flower here, but I'm just showing you what I'm talking about. If you wanted to, look at how adorable that is. See how cute that is there? So I thought that was rather neat yes I random have flowers laying around <laughs> I have random stuff laying around all the time so now we're going to I'm not gonna fill it with anything at this point um, but if I if I was definitely keeping it just for the candy bar I would throw some M&Ms in there for sure this one's gonna be a little bit difficult, and the reason I say that is because we're going around this outer rim, and uh, I gotta do two of them before they, before they uh, um, 
get too cold and I just realized that I have to do that. So I'm kind of being sloppy. This would probably be a better um, time to use the uh, E6000 or some Gorilla Glue, but we're doing this so just for quick and easy and this will be really nice um, for a makeup caddy. I'm just going to line these two up so they're right above each other. Now, that is it. That's all and it's ready to go. Again, put some doilies. Yes, I do have random stuff. Look, I have... I have random things always. So I'm grabbing these little doilies out of here and seeing what happens. See what we can find. So I could show you. Let me just open this up. See, husband hates my craft room. But hello, can he find doilies that quick? You just talk about the doilies and there they are. So you grab a little doily there. And you can just set it right in there and have your um, candies right on top. You can have some little pedophores if you were going to do it like a dessert bar. So cute. Very quick, very easy. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I know it's difficult to see, but I wanted to share this with you. And I'm going to go ahead and take a side view picture because you can't really tell here, but it's, it's cute. All right, beauties, well, stay tuned and I will show you those pictures right away. If you like my Dollar Tree DIYs and want to see more, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you click that little bell button so you don't miss it when I do put them up. And finally, you guys, have a great day. Bye.